so I don't know. I don't went to the shop and realized I didn't bring my wig head, but whatever. So I'm gonna color part of this wig here, and then I'm gonna go home and do the rest because I got uh, I got to color my own wig, so I need my dome head. So we finna do a strawberry shortcake color. So I braided these two pieces to get out the way because I'm going to dip dye this part and I kept the frontal out of the way because I'm going to hand paint the frontal. Y'all finished. So I'm using pink petals because she wants like a really soft pink. Anytime you're doing a soft, soft pink, you're going to use pink petal, okay? Not cotton candy. I know y'all get a little confused with the adore dye. A lot of my clients be trying to dye their own wigs one in the soft pink and again that hot cotton candy pink one walk that pink petal is the one you need okay 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 boom so okay so once you um dip dye you know the back part then you know we gonna color the top and you go, of course, you're gonna go over like this row so that you know it all blends and it's not gone. But yeah, so you know, I still have these braided streaks. So when I take them out, you know, it's gonna be like the little blonde streaks. It's gonna be getting very much cupcake, very much strawberry shortcake, all that. Yeah. All right, so here I'm just gonna show y'all how I um put the like kind of like skunk stripe type of thing in the frontal. And really, all I did was part out the pieces that I still wanted to be blonde and I twist them up or redded them up and then um I put foil um underneath type shit so that the pink wouldn't get on the blonde while I'm dyeing the rest of the frontal pink if that makes sense y'all about to see Okay, as y'all can see, I got my blonde piece all covered up with the foil, and I'm going in dyeing the rest of the frontal um, pink. So you just need to make sure when you're hand painting color that you um, are well saturating the hair. Like, make sure that it's, you have enough dye and it's saturating all the strands of hair so that that color doesn't come out splotchy. So now I'm just washing her wig because this was like a, re a wig revamp. It wasn't a new wig. So it was still glue on her lace. And let me tell y'all, I be seeing y'all always talking about y'all struggling how to get y'all glue off y'all lace. All you need to do is run it under some warm or some hot water and literally just roll the glue off of the lace with your fingers. It's literally so easy, y'all. Just run it under water. Let it get like a, it get, I don't know, the consistency of the glue be changing when it get wet. And then you could just literally just rub it off and it just comes out so easy.
all right so here is my lovely client i'm just cleaning um her face with some alcohol to make sure there's no oils or whatever else on her face um that's going to ensure that her install will last we just used her old braids from her last install because this really was just a maintenance and she added color so um yeah Next step, you already know, it's the cap. So I just get my clients to pull the cap down like really, really tight because that just makes sure, I feel like it makes the cap thinner and it melts it better. And I cut out the ear tabs and then, you know, I'm going to glue it down. Now, y'all need to make sure that y'all dry y'all cap all the way so that you can get the closest cut um, when you're cutting the excess cap off. Like, you got to make sure all the adhesive is all the way dry so that it doesn't peel back when you're cutting the cap. Um, what y'all see me doing in the background, I tinted her lace with some... Um, Lace tint mousse. I didn't really use a lot of makeup for this install. I don't really use a lot of makeup when I'm doing any um, pastel colors or bright color, like light colors, because I don't want it to get on the hair. And now I'm just positioning her wig and making sure um, it's in the right spot for me to glue it down. And I meant to record me doing all three layers, but I did. But I did three layers. Um, of course, you know, blow dry in between each layer so that it gets real tacky, real sticky, and the glue can set. So right here, I'm just combing and pressing, combing and pressing. I make sure it's not no little flyaways getting stuck in the glue or anything. 
and I'm just pressing in her legs and then I'm gonna blow dry it to melt it in. Right here, I'm just hot combing um, the top of the weed to make sure it's flat. And we're gonna add some beach waves to her hair, and then we'll be done. So literally all I'm doing for these beach waves is I'm taking my wand curler and I'm um, curling the strand of hair except the ends. Like you're going to leave out the ends for those um, the bombshell beach waves.
Okay, now you know I had to get my girls some little baby hairs. Um, usually like I would use like mousse for the baby hairs and all, but um, for my clients that really don't like keep their baby hairs real good, I just use some um of the even spray because it molds it down and it really don't leave it like um sticky. Like if you use a little bit, it's gonna lay them down and your baby hair is still gonna be fluffy, but they gonna stay down. Here is the finished look. I hope this helped y'all. If y'all want to color y'all wigs like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.